So if you need to take 7 eighths minus 3 eighths, here's how you can do that. So when we subtract fractions or when we add fractions, we want to make sure we have common denominator. That's this number down here. We want that to be the same. And in this case, it is. We have 8 for both of these. That makes it a lot easier. So what we'll do is we're going to take the numerators, 7 minus 3, and that gives us 4. And then you just bring that denominator across 8. And 7 eighths minus 3 eighths, that does equal 4 eighths. But we could simplify this further. These are both even numbers. In fact, 4 would go into 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4, that is 2. So 7 eighths minus 3 eighths, it does equal 4 eighths. And we can simplify that down to 1 half. And that's it. That's how you take 7 eighths minus 3 eighths. The answer is 1 half or 4 eighths. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.